today I'm going to be showing you how to make air fried egg rolls. So here are all the ingredients that I have. It's very simple. You choose any vegetables you want. Today I have carrots and ginger and red onion, garlic and celery. You can chop them up finely into cubes or um, what I like to do is put them in the food processor and then when you saute them they get soft easier. Um, and then I have ground chicken. You can use chicken or pork or beef or even tofu, or you can leave it out and just have the vegetables. And then I have sesame oil, which is the key ingredient. Um, spring roll shells, um, which we'll be using to wrap it up later. And then you can use an egg or water to seal it up um, before you put them in the air fryer. So to start off, I've warmed up my pan and I'm gonna put some, I'll put my, um, some sesame oil into the pan, just a little to coat the bottom so nothing sticks. And then you can toss in your vegetable. I also have cabbage here, so I'll start off with a good handful or two of cabbage. It'll shrink down um, once you saute it, so I like to be generous with the vegetables, um, some cabbage, and then the red onion, the garlic, and the celery. And then the carrot and the ginger. Then I like to um, put these in the pan until they get soft before I add the chicken. So this usually takes a couple of minutes before everything starts to shrink down and go soft. But again, it is just sesame oil and all of your veggies in here. I'm gonna be adding in the ground chicken and add however much you want. And the pan is on like about medium to high heat. Um, that way I can control how fast everything cooks. So. And as for the chicken, um, I like to brown it instead of cooking it all the way through in the pan because it will be cooked completely later when you put it in the air fryer. That way um, your chicken doesn't get like super dry um, in the egg roll. And then I also have seasonings. You can season it however much you like. Um, in here I have salt, pepper, a little bit of paprika if you want color, but you can season it however much you'd like, depending on your taste. And then for this, I'll probably go um, like until the chicken is half cooked or a little more than half cooked and you can tell when the color starts to change a little bit. And just mix everything together. And then once you see that most of the color on the chicken has started to change, you can turn off the heat and let this cool before you start putting it into the wraps. So go ahead and do that. And turn off the heat and then just let this cool a little or else if you put it in the wrap, it'll rip. Okay, welcome back. We've let our mixture cool. So now we're gonna put um, all the ingredients into the wrapper. And this is what I have. It's a spring roll shell. Um, and when I wrap it, I like to have like a damp paper towel over it just so it doesn't dry out and crack. But when you open it up, it will come all stuck together. So you have to be really careful when you peel it um, out so it doesn't rip or crack. So I'm gonna wrap one of them and show you guys. So this is what it'll look like. Um, you can wrap it on a cutting board or a plate. Um, okay, so I get 
a little bit of the mixture and I am wearing gloves because I did just brown the chicken. It's not all the way cooked um, because it will cook fully later in the air fryer. So that's why I'm wearing gloves. And if you're not gonna wear gloves, you should wash your hands beforehand. So to wrap it, I put a little bit of it on the end that's towards me. And carefully wrap both of the sides in and fold it down and then tightly roll it all the way to the end. But before closing it all the way, I like to seal it with um, an egg. So this is just an egg that I've whisked up into a bowl. You can use water too, but get a little bit of that egg and put it on the remainder of the wrapper and just roll it all the way up. It should look something like this. Okay, so we're gonna do a close up of how to wrap these egg rolls. So I just grab a little from our mixture and I put it on the side that, that is towards me. Um, I have the corner faced towards me and then I put a little bit of the mixture there. So the first thing you're gonna do is take this corner and fold it to cover up the mixture. Press it down, and then you're gonna fold it one of the sides in, and fold it all the way down, and do the same on the other side. Making sure to press down the wrapper so you get a really nice tight seal. So once it's like this, you're just gonna grab the mixture and fold it, roll it towards the other end, but before you close it all the way, you have this little triangle here, and that's when I get a little bit of the egg wash just on my fingers. And I go like this to get that corner wet so it'll seal. And then again, you can use water too. And just keep rolling it. It should look like this. Okay, so the final part is that we're gonna put it into the air fryer. I have my air fryer here, and this is a healthier way to make egg rolls at home because they're usually deep fried in restaurants or if you do it the traditional way. But here in air fryer, um, we only use a little bit of oil and any oil that goes into it will drip down to the bottom so it won't be in your food. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up and I have cooking spray here. I'm gonna spray it just on the bottom so that egg rolls don't stick. So coat the bottom. And I've preheated it already to 370 degrees. And we're just gonna go ahead and line up and put our egg rolls in. And then we'll just line up our egg rolls, leave a little bit of space in there. Let's see, we'll fit another one in there. And then once it's um, like filled, we're gonna take our cooking spray again and then we're just gonna coat them. And they're gonna go into the air fryer. For 370 degrees and I put mine for eight minutes. And then once those eight minutes have finished, um, I'll take them out and flip them over and put them in there for about another five minutes or so. Once they're out of the air fryer, this is what they'll look like. They're golden brown, and we achieved that without deep frying it. So that's what I love about the air fryer. And the sauces we have here, you can serve them with any sauce. I just have a teriyaki sauce and a spicy chili sauce in a bowl, and then you can dip them and eat them and enjoy. Yeah. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon to see our upcoming videos. You can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash communitynutrition.uofa. And you can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at UA underscore FNEP. If you want to get in touch with us, you can email us at communitynutrition.uofa at gmail.com. See you later.